This role is created for business users connecting to the virtual data port and they have to read certain elements of a database. In such cases, we would select this role and click on the Assign Privileges option. This dialog box shows the list of privileges that can be assigned to this particular role. Since our use case is a power user who wants to create elements over a database, let us consider the database Donoto Training and provide this user to connect and create elements over it. Now, we might want to allow developers to access some views of this database. However, if we select Execute Privilege, all the views of this database will be executable by this role, which is not a requirement. For this kind of security conflict, Denota allows you to assign much granular level in setting privileges. That is, we can pick and choose the list of elements which can be accessible to this role. For achieving this granularity of privileges, you can click on the Edit option under Advanced Privileges. Let us choose Execute Privilege over the Integration folder. On selecting this, all the elements under this folder will be granted Execute Privilege for this role. You can also choose to provide privileges at an individual view level as well. Let's just expand the folder Base View. Now, we can choose elements of this database and grant Execute, Write, Insert, Update, and Delete. You can apply restrictions to the view by choosing Column Privileges, Row Restrictions, and Custom Policies. Let's choose the BVHR Departments view and provide Write Privilege. By enabling the Write Privilege, you could notice that metadata and execute privilege is automatically enabled for this role. Also, you could see that the advanced privileges are highlighted. Similarly, let's provide execute privilege on BVHR employees view. On choosing execute privileges, we could see that metadata privileges are automatically assigned to the role. Let's further configure this role's access rights by enforcing a column restriction on BVHR employees as this role is not supposed to see all the attributes of the employee. Once execute privilege is granted, we could see all the advanced privileges being highlighted. To assign column level privileges, let's choose assign column privileges.